is Power Wheels from Naomi. She said it didn't run. I just hooked 24 volts up to it. It's supposed to be 12. And it rips in second gear. I'm gonna start it out in first. See what happens. Maybe we should show our viewers how we made it run on 24 volts instead of 12. You know, in case anyone wants to do it to theirs. So we're taking the seats off to show you guys how we did this. He did the wiring work. All right, it's real easy. If you don't know about electrical stuff, this is a pretty simple process. You get two batteries instead of one, and then you hook these up in a series, which means that you just need an extra wire. So you take one extra wire, you connect well, actually, this would be power. Your power going into the car, the ground comes to the other battery's power, and then that, that battery's ground goes to the car. So you're just running an to extra loop here. Instead of, instead of this being just power and ground, you run your power to this battery, ground to this battery, and then you link the batteries together, power to ground. That's so Which confusing. makes it run in a series, which makes it 24 volts instead of 12. So Cameron's going to demonstrate how it runs now. How to pop a wheelie. And this isn't even full charged, people. This is just regular. Holy crap! Did you guys just see that? God damn it. Comment below if you just saw that. I'm just kidding. Back it up and pop a real wheelie this time. To demonstrate the raw power. We're gonna oh, pop a wheelie up over this bump. Bro, bro. Try to pop a wheelie out here in the blacktop. You're listening to 500 <laughs> Keep backing no, up and- No, not back up and crank it. It's what? bad. It's bad for you. No, just do it once for the camera. Back up and then while you're still rolling backwards, smack the gas pedal forwards. Come on, ride it out. I'm trying, but I'm scared. Come on, you know how to do it. Ride that shit. All right, you better charge your battery. Now we got to run on 24 volts. We're going to weld the door shut because, you know, if you ever watch the Dukes of Hazard, you'd know that race cars always have the doors welded shut. But it's plastic. Cameron wants to know how we're going to weld plastic. But I'm going to show you all about this little guy. It's a hot stapler. These are the different shapes of staples you can get. I got this one right here. And I just got this thing recently. It is a sweet tool. You pop your little staple in here like this. You hold this button down, it gets hot. We can actually turn it up so it gets hot real fast. I think that's how it gets hot real fast. I turned the wrong light, there it goes. See how it's glowing red? Yeah, it is glowing Okay, red. now we take our plastic right here. Here, Cam, get over on this side or something. Get in right up close so you can film what I'm doing. Now this little guy, you can actually, uh, let's see, we'll put it in. Yeah, let's do it like this. You melt that sucker in. Let off your trigger, let it cool for a while. He's blowing up. And then yank that out of there. Isn't that going to cool sharp down. us? Yeah, that's going to be, we're, we'll grind them off there then. You want to do both sides? Yeah, let's do both sides. We use this thing to fix headlight brackets all the time. Save so much money. Tool costs like a little over a hundred bucks, I think. But you know, for each headlight you could save by fixing the brackets, it pays for itself over and over and over and over and over and over. And you can weld your door shut on Sorry, your toys dude. like this. See all that sucker right in there, melt it in. Ow, this one's still hot. Wiggle it around a little bit and you let it cool. Blow on it. Yank it out of there. Now this side should be cool by now. Look at how tight that sucker is actually pulling it away that sucker is on there it's called a hot stapler i recommend getting one if you got a little shop of some sort where you get busted headlights now and then cameron do you have busted headlights that's pretty sweet that is that's just one staple in there boys just one little staple now let me show you how we finish it off it actually i think it came with this tool to snip these off of here with but the thing is if you just 
snip these, that gets rid of them, but you still got sharp edges here and that's no good for the kids. So we'll grind that off with a Dremel tool. This will work good enough. It doesn't start. Dremel and make it nice, but that's good enough. It's not well, that was how to make it nice. Welding your plastic door shut. <laughs>